Outside the French embassy in East Beirut, demonstrators demanded that Lebanon's new president be removed from office at once, but their shouts appear to be falling on deaf ears. Along with the US, Syria and Jordan, France seems to be solidly behind Lebanon's new president, René Mouawad. Lebanese Christians may look to France as their political savior, but the French are keeping a discreet distance. As Lebanon's Maronite Christian community becomes more deeply divided, Naoun and his supporters increasingly isolated. We have to respect the opinion of the majority. I think I have the majority and I am ruling by it. Why the world asks us to be, you know, united all together to face a political act. The majority the general refers to is fast becoming one that doesn't include him. But that didn't stop his supporters from turning East Beirut into a ghost town for the second day running with a general strike. Ignoring those who are unhappy with her husband, Lebanon's new first lady gave an interview. Moawad looked presidential enough as he met with other veteran Christian leaders, but General Aoun's wrath is a force still to be reckoned with. The car bomb left four people dead and a mass of smouldering wreckage in the West Beirut suburb. The impact from the blast was felt over a large area, shrapnel smashed windows and left another five cars ablaze. Syrian soldiers, their AK-47 rifles conspicuously in evidence, were quickly on the scene clearing a path for the emergency services. As well as the all too familiar human tragedy, the explosion sent a political shockwave through Beirut. Only three blocks away is a villa where Lebanon's newly elected president, René Mouawad, was planning to stay. Mouawad has been denied the presidential palace by Christian army commander General Michel Aoun, who refuses to recognize the election. The president arrived in Beirut just an hour after today's explosion. He had been gathering support after being voted into office in the north of the country and received Syria's blessing to implement an Arab League plan giving a fairer share of political power to Muslims in Lebanon. But the new president will first have to overcome Beirut's chronic cycle of violence. Several thousand supporters of the pro-Iranian Hezbollah, or Party of God, turned out for the rally which was held in Beirut's southern suburbs. Sheikh Sobi Tufeli, a senior Hezbollah official, attacked the recent Saudi-sponsored type agreement, telling the crowd it would lead to partition and enable Lebanon's Maronite Christians to consolidate their power. This Hezbollah show of strength was commemorating a suicide truck bombing mission against Israel seven years ago. 75 people, mostly Israeli soldiers, died in the attack, and the truck's driver is hailed by Hezbollah as their first suicide bomber. The group, or its affiliates, have claimed a further 10 suicide attacks since then. A mock funeral procession was held during the rally to commemorate those who died fighting for Hezbollah. The group is thought to number around 4,000, reportedly backed by 2,000 Iranian Revolutionary Guards. It's widely believed to hold most of the 18 Western hostages in Beirut. <laughs> 